All right, folks. So in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about giving and receiving signal reports in ham radio. The reason we're doing this is my buddy Stan asked me, what's up with all the five nines? Every time you talk to somebody, either give or get a five nine. What's that all about? And uh, in this video, we're going to attempt to answer that. But before we do, there's some buttons down below, a like button, comment button, subscribe button. Go ahead and click them. It'll make you happy. Now let's get started. All right, so we're going to begin this conversation by talking about signal reporting in ham radio. And uh, the, the question really is, what is a signal report? And it's based off of something called the RST system or the RST report, uh, which stands for Re Readability Signal and Tone. It was devised or developed in 1934 by a radio amateur, Arthur Bratton, W2BS. The BS stands for Bravo Sierra. And um, his friends called him Artie. And uh, it was originally intended for Morse code. It was not something that was originally developed for phone or for voice contacts, but was quickly adopted uh, for that. So when you take a look at the RST system, here's what you have. Again, we covered it as readability, signal strength, and tone. Uh, when you talk about readability, it is on a five-point scale. From one to five, one is unreadable, two is barely readable. Three is readable uh, with difficulty. Uh, four is almost perfectly readable. And five is perfectly readable. And that's where we kind of get into a little bit of trouble with this particular system, especially with folks who are newer at uh, giving or receiving uh, signal reports. Um, it's subjective, not objective. And that means it's up to the discretion of the person making the evaluation or doing the scoring. And really, what is the difference between almost perfectly readable and perfectly readable? Well, I'm sure there's a bunch of experts viewing, and so maybe they could leave a comment downstairs down below explaining it to me. Uh, the second part of this is signal strength, and that is on a nine-point scale, uh, going from one, which is faint, to very weak, to weak, to fair, to fairly good, to good, to moderately strong, strong, or very strong. And what I'll notice is that I'll be, you know, watching a video where somebody's making contacts or I'll be uh, listening to a QSO in progress and somebody's like, again, 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 alpha, bravo, char again, 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 oh, five, nine, five, nine, you're five, nine. And it's just not true, right? If they were a five, nine, it would have been perfectly readable on a very strong signal and they would have been understandable the first time around. They wouldn't have had to ask for them to repeat over and over and over again. A lot of times what you'll see is people will still give the five and then they'll drop the signal strength down if they have trouble, right? So they'll say, oh, you're a five, six, five, 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 four, something like that. Uh, for some reason, there seems to be reluctance in a readability of below a five. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about uh, is the tone, and I'm not going to go through all these. These are tones that apply to Morse code. But uh, oddly enough, you'll hear people give 599, you're 599 here in Wisconsin. And uh, that would be perfectly readable, very strong, perfect, no hum or modulation. But the 599 report is only applicable to phone or voice, as we've covered. It's... Uh, um, it's not a valid, it's not a valid signal report. So I'm not hundred percent sure why people do that, but they do. So with all things ham radio, you can imagine that this topic has a little bit of drama surrounding it. Uh, and I'm bringing up the first point. Everybody gets a five, nine. Uh, if you listen to contests, especially where people try to pass certain pieces of information back and forth, often one of the pieces of information that's required for the contest is a signal report. And everybody gets a five, nine, regardless of their signal quality. Um, and as mentioned, some people even get a five nine nine, and and that just doesn't 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 make sense. Um, the other one is is that you'll hear people on digital modes, for example, they'll come on and they'll say, "Hey, this is so and so. Can I get a signal report? Can I get a radio check?" And somebody will come along and say five nine, and then somebody else will come along and be like, "Those signal reports are for HF only. They're not for digital modes or FM." So you'll get somebody calling CQ on a repeater asking for a radio check um, and they'll get a number back. Um, I don't see a problem 
with giving somebody an RST report on digital modes or FM. Digital modes might be a little bit uh, silly, being digital is more binary. You either hear them or you don't. Um, there are there are bit error rates and there are modulation issues that can take place there that can mess with somebody's signal. But you're probably better off describing what you're hearing versus giving them a number and then that way they can correct or adjust. The other one is, is that some people get offended if you give them anything less than a 5.9, be like, five three he gave me a five three well you're a five two son right and then it turns into well if i got a bad report then you're going to get a bad report like if you're somehow punishing somebody for for being honest and i'm not real sure uh, how i feel about that myself personally i would rather get an honest signal report because that lets me know that i've got work to do right and maybe give me some ideas or point me down a direction of a way that i can improve uh, the way that my radio is tuned or configured uh, maybe something with my antenna that needs some work or, or, or something along those lines i'd rather honestly know how how my signal's getting out how it's propagating and how it's so sounding i don't want a five nine just because i'm going to put it in a log somewhere and then look back on it years later and tell the grandkids hey look at all these five nines the old man got back in the day it just doesn't make any sense um, the other thing is, is that a lot of times people will look at an S meter in order to give a report and you'll hear people say, well, you're 10 over five, nine. We looked at the gradings for the RST scores and there is nothing above a nine. So while I can appreciate somebody taking creative liberties to add on to that or, or using the S meter, somebody could still have a lower S meter reading. Like somebody could be coming in at an S six, but still have a very strong signal comparatively um, so I'm just going to leave that one alone and let people comment below, but I personally don't use an S meter when giving a signal report. And, uh, from what I've read, it's a best practice not to, um, not all S meters are the same. They're not all created equal. They're not all calibrated the same. Uh, I'm of the opinion that your, your RST report should be based off of what you're hearing and what you're experiencing, but, uh, thoughts and comments post them below and that'd be fantastic. So that kind of leaves us with, well, what do you do? Um, and we've kind of covered this. Give honest and accurate signal reports. You're doing somebody a disservice by not doing that. You're actually helping them out when you do. Some people might not like it, and it might be a little bit more work on your report or your part to actually um, learn how to grade and, and um, classify a signal. But it's going to make you a better ham and ultimately other people better hams as well. The other one is don't get upset if you don't get a 5.9. Uh, again, as we mentioned, somebody's doing you a favor. And the last thing is have fun. This whole thing is about having fun. So get out there, have fun, and uh, enjoy your signal reports. And with that, I'm going to say thanks to everybody for watching. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, or suggestions, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks, everybody.